Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are out on Lake Fork in Texas fishing post spawn fish. What we're doing today is searching for schools and we have just found one. So what we're gonna do is position in and around this point. It's a secondary point out on the main body where these fish are schooling and stacking up. And we're catching them on crankbaits. Come along. Lake Fork in East Texas. Beautiful post spawn square bill bass. Our water temps right around 70 degrees. It's kind of post front, but it doesn't seem to matter. This time of year after the spawn, we've already talked to you guys about what they do. The fish pull out of the bays and the creeks. They come back along the secondary points ultimately heading back out to deep offshore or outside structures. Well, we've intercepted a school here on this secondary point. It's very shallow, one to five feet of water. So the best bait for us right now is a square bill. There's a lot of wood and debris up here. The square bill's bouncing off and deflecting, but we're able to catch these fish. You'll notice all we're really doing is changing angles and positions, moving around where this school of fish is. We saw them on site imaging. We're positioning around them to keep them biting, switching between that square bill and a small swim bait. Hopefully we can catch some more fish. Let's see. Lake Fork. Come on, baby. Mommy got a big bass. Good girl. Awesome. I love Texas. Are you having fun on the boat? Yes. I am too. There's one. That one's yours, Sierra. your baby. You like him? That's her baby. Yeah. 
So what's actually happening here, guys, is we've got heavy wind blowing in on this bank, and there's some fish on the entire bank. But right here on the secondary point, right on the corner, is where these fish are bunching up. There's bait fish coming in. Water temp's about 70 degrees. So it's right on the front end of the shad spawn. There's shad getting up shallow, spawning up here on these edges. And then with the wind coming in as well, you've just got a lot of bait fish activity right out here on the outside. These bass are taking full advantage of that. That's how you know you got the right bait on. Choked that square bill. Choked it. Another monster fork bass. Big one. do with this hmm. all right guys our school of fish laid down sun started getting up high water started going slick that school dispersed we no longer had the conditions to be gathering those shad in there so those fish aren't up there ambushing but to recap essentially what happened is we're on a, a secondary point leading to the outside Wind's coming in, bait fish start stacking up, and the bass show up. It would be easy to just catch one fish, keep going down the shore, but because we know this time of year we're looking for schooling bass, we always throw back, see if we can catch another one, see if we can catch another one. What we were doing is we were using a square bill. We talk a lot about when you're fishing for shad or bass that are on shad, you need a lot of flash. You need to be able to draw those fish away from the real thing. So we were using, although a square bill, a bait with quite a bit of foil in it. We were using a couple different colors, and then we were using a Kitex setup on an underspin as well, just to show them different baits, keep those fish going. Then the other thing that was critical, uh, you know, crankbait rod obviously, but I was throwing it on an eight to one reel. I threw on both fluoro and braid deleter, didn't seem to matter, but I was throwing on eight to one, absolutely burning that bait just as fast as I could go and pause fast as you can go and pause those fish are already up there feeding they're aggressive they're willing to chase when you can get them going that fast and then pause they just smash it they they almost can't control the reaction so that really high speed reel made a big difference throwing that square bill we had an awesome time out here on fork we probably have right around 25 26 pounds uh, our three fish ended up going six and three quarter 6.8 and 7.0 uh, and then some other really nice fish to go with them we had an absolute ball out here it's great to be in texas we're going to get back on the road head to another fishery thanks for coming along if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel we'll talk to you soon Thank you.